Hi everybody, my name is Carlos Zapata and I am one of the teaching staff in the School of Mathematics at the University of Edinburgh. Many of you will see me next year uh, because I am both in uh, the ILA Introduction to Linear Algebra team and CAP Calculus and its Applications team. So you will be seeing a lot of me uh, in, in the next few months when you start your degree. But I'd like to present myself quite briefly and, and then pose you a problem because we've heard that you're itching to get your hands on some mathematics. So I actually began my journey in, in, in university through physics and science. I, I began uh, extremely passionate about how one can understand the universe and can understand all the complex patterns that we observe uh, around in nature. And I very early on realized that mathematics provides that, that, that language with that structuring power for thinking and, 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 and the organization of ideas and concepts. And this is what I really find um, enticing and, 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 and amazing about mathematics, that it has that power to structure our way of, of, of interpreting the world. And so the problem I, I am about to pose to you is um, rather connected to this idea. And, and you might be a little bit surprised to hear um, a problem in this in this guise, because it's uh, under some considerations, perhaps not so much a mathematics problem, but a modeling problem. So it's, it's a problem where most of the input from the person tackling it is in the form of assumptions and simplifications and, you know, descriptions of, of, of the situation that the problem is dealing with more than actual mathematical uh, work, which uh, in, in probably in the sense that you're familiar with, in the sense of calculations or, you know, deductions and so on. So let's have a read of the problem. Uh, it will appear in the screen as well. And, and so we can, we can discuss a little bit uh, how to approach it uh, before uh, getting into the solution in the next video. So here's the problem. Imagine a square table with legs placed halfway along each side rather than at the corners. The question is, what is the maximum mass which can be placed on one corner before the table tips over? Okay, so I don't want to say too much about it. It is that simple. It is that concise. And the idea is that you come up with all the necessary assumptions, all the necessary simplifications for, for this statement to become a mathematics problem. Right? This, is, this is the idea of modeling, which is what we do uh, in, 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 in all the applications of mathematics in real life. I mean, we are living through this very complicated pandemic at, at the moment, and you're probably very, very familiar with modelings and different prediction models and, and our discussion about how, how you know, we should be modeling the rate of the infection and so on. So what, what's happening there is essentially what you're going to be practicing here. Okay? It's one of the, the most... Uh, powerful uh, uses of mathematics in, 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 in all possible realms of, of, of application. And um, so, so you should think carefully about this statement and, and come up with, with simplifications and assumptions. Again, this makes the, the, the solution or the alleged solution into a more of a discursive and, 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 and you know, uh, unstructured solution. I don't think you could say there is a right or wrong solution to this problem. I mean, once you set up your simplifications, then yes, you can you can say there's a right or wrong solution. But from the get go, there's simply the activity to model. There's simply the activity to um, bringing intuitions and simplifications and so on, and try to make it into a problem that maybe you can tackle with um, some basic mathematical tools that you already know. So have fun, and we'll see you in the next video.